There are thousands of gadgets that you can find on the web to use in Google Sites, and it can be a bit daunting to find the ones that are useful when you're not even sure what you're looking for. The link above this link on this slide took you to a web page that has suggestions for useful gadgets for educators. And you can also search yourself. Now I'm going to show you how to use them, but there's thousands, so I can't show you thousands. Once again, you need to be an edit, which I am. If you go to insert menu, and if you go down to more gadgets, because these were the Google gadgets, and this was just the normal stuff, and we talked about recent posts and list items works the same way. More gadgets. So I'm a big fan of the weather. Now it'll come up to the featured ones, and you can scroll down and look and see. It's it's just there's a lot. Twitter widget, Google Group, PayPal, Google News. So YouTube, this is how you can add a YouTube video to Google Moderator, so on and so forth. You can also go to public, there's tons. I like the weather, so you can click weather. So you click on any gadget, you can read about it, and here's the website it came from, and you can click select. Then you will get a gadget properties page where you can decide how big you want. Now width would be 100%, 100% of your window. If I don't want it all the way across, I can make it 50%. And pixels, you can kind of play with because like I said, I don't know exactly how big a pixel is. It's very, very small. And here are your choices. Do you want a scroll bar on the gadget? Do you want a border? Do you want the title? And view default or canvas? I'm not sure what the difference is. Click on preview the gadget and it'll show you what the gadget's going to look like in your page. Here it is. Great. I like it. I say OK. And here's my gadget. Now once again, just like when you inserted a Google Doc, you can't see what it's going to look like until you save it. But you can. Here's the properties if you want to get back and make any changes. And then click on it and you can center it if you want, align it left. If you're going to want a text wrap on it, you can have text wrap on. So you notice I put it on and the picture moved up next to it. So that's how you can place a gadget with something next to it by text wrapping on. You see how you can see? Okay. And if I move it on this side, text wrapping, here's my item and then text. Here's my text. You click save and then you can actually see the gadget. Now you're saying, but I don't want New York. Well, watch. Click on edit and put in the zip code that you want and hit search. Da, 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 da. Look, Denver, mostly sunny, beautiful. So simple. That works anyway with any of the gadgets and there are tons. So one of the suggestions was dictionary. So if you're looking for a gadget and you can type something in and see if something comes up. I'm going to type in dictionary. And let's see, I hope I spelled it right. Now there's nothing under featured, so let me go back to public, okay? If you don't find anything, featured or just ones that they feature, go to public. Let's see if we can find dictionary in the public. I sure hope so because they advertise it. Ah, so here's, this will give the meaning of the word, German Persian, Google Translate, lots of different things. Twitter news, dictionary, word of the day, a daily word from dictionary.com. Well, let's put a dictionary one on my site and see what happens. This is what it's going to look like. I can click select. It's going to give me the properties. I can click preview. There's what it's going to look like. I click OK. And I'm not sure where my dictionary is. There's my dictionary gadget. It's a little slow today. Once again, you've got the same things where you can go to properties, move it center, left or right, have it text wrapping, whatever you want, and then click save so you can see the actual gadget. So if I go down and take a look, there it is, search the dictionary. So what I can do now is I can type in a word, let's say theme, and say go. And it takes me out to a site, and here it is. So awesome. So um, using gadgets can really, really jazz up your site. And there it is. Okay. 
Let's give it a save. And I'm going to show you one gadget that's really, really useful because it kind of trumps all gadgets. Before I show you the be all end all gadget for me, I just want to show you if you want to insert some video from a YouTube or if you have something in Google video. It's very simple. You need to have the URL of the Google video. Now, for example, I don't have one, but it works the same. I have a lot of videos up on YouTube. Or you can go to YouTube, and if you find a video, you can paste the URL. I copied one of the videos that I created for this class. Paste the URL and click Save. Same thing, include the border. Do you want a title? Um, I can't remember which one. I think this might be Managing Pages. So I can change the title. If I can spell. And your YouTube video will appear. Once again, same thing. Properties, alignment, wrapping. And you have to click Save in order to see it. So if I click Save and I scroll down, there's my gadget. And there's my YouTube video, Managing Pages in Google Sites. You can play it. There it is. So you can insert videos, YouTube videos or Google videos right in here. Now I'm going to show you how you can insert anything if you have an embed code from a website. Really useful for Animotos, Glogsters, I think Prezi's might even. So let's This gadget is really useful cuz I could say it's basically gadget neutral. You just need an embedded code. So it can be from a video, anything, a website. The one thing you need to know is where to find the code. And that's going to vary depending what website you're on. So here it is under more gadgets. And I have no idea why they called it this one. But go to public and it's called safe HTML bypass. This is also good for Vokies. And here it is, safe HTML bypass. And you hit select. Now this small little box that comes up is where you're going to paste the embedded code. And I know it looks smaller than a lot of your embedded code, but I promise you it will work. So just say I'm in an Animoto and I want to find my Animoto. I'm going to embed one of the kids' Animoto projects. So if I do go to Edit Project, and I don't mean, sorry, I didn't mean to go to Edit Project. You have to know in the project where the code is. So in Animoto, sorry about that. In Animoto, under Actions, the code is here where you can say Embed. So if I go to Embed, it's going to bring me to a screen that's going to show me the embedded code. Here it is. It's all this. So you want to make sure you get everything. So make sure you scroll down or scroll up and start from the end or the beginning. Or you can do copy code. Sometimes you won't have the copy code choice depending on what it is. So if you don't have copy code choice, make sure you highlight the whole thing and copy the code. And see, copy this code wherever your site or accepts HTML. So one way of doing this, let me get back to my page, is paste the code right here. So I can right click and paste. Now this is where you have to play with it. And it also depends on what your size of your thing that you're embedding. Glogs are bigger, so it's going to embed the entire glog. Uh, Animotos are smaller. And you can play with these things. And I can change the title. Maybe I want to call it Animoto. And you can preview the gadget. The good thing about previewing the gadget, you can see if the whole video actually fits. Because sometimes you don't see the whole video in the bottom. So if you think it's too short, and look, I've got all this white, so I don't need all this space. I don't need 100% of the window. I can go back to configuration and say, okay, well, let's take a look. Let's try 60% of the window, and let's try 250 pixels. Preview the gadget, and it's also a way you know that it's going to work. See, now I can see the bottom, and I'm not sure what's going on with this white part over here. So let's click OK and see what happens. I clicked OK. And there we have the Animoto gadget. I clicked Save already. See the window's a little wide, so I can make the window even a little narrower. But it plays. And you can even make it full screen. Pretty cool, huh? 
So safety ML bypass will work for anything that you can find the code. Just remember, you have to work on the size. Sometimes you have to play with the size. And when you play with the size, you need to be an edit page. And I have to remember, okay, maybe it was I need a little smaller. So I could go to properties and I could change the size width to even a little smaller. So it all depends on the gadget you're going to put in. So anything that you can embed has an embed code. So you can do any kind of videos, like I said, any kind of Glogster, uh, a Prezi, anything with an embed code. So it's basically the be all end all. Now there's another way to do also if you have an embed code. You can click on HTML, but watch this. This is the code that would need to be written to create just this page on the website. Look at all this. This is why we like Google Sites and website creators that do things by menu choices because can you imagine all this code? Now if you're familiar with code and know where something ends or begins, you can insert the HTML code or well, like I say, if you know you want something to be at the bottom of the page, you can copy that embedded code and then paste it and I, so I still have the code from the um, Animoto, here's all the code, and click update it. And once again, so now you'll see at the bottom, I have two HTML gadgets. I have the safe HTML bypass, and I have the quote embed gadget. And if I hit click save, you should see two of the same Animoto videos at the bottom when it decides to load. See safe HTML, HTML bypass, now the cool thing is, is look, the one that I embedded using the HTML code, it sized it perfectly for me. So if you do know that you want something like either all the way at the bottom of the page or all the way at the top of the page, or you can figure out when the code ends for one of your items that you've put in, HTML right on here, and I'm going to put this at the top of the page, watch, so I can paste it. And look, I can even hit preview and it should show me and here's my Google gadget, that embedded gadget at the top of the page above the weather. So I could, you can do it that way as well and play around with it. It's really up to you. So gadgets are awesome because they can make your page look really cool and you can like embed students projects into them and share. So it's really great and if you have any questions you know where to reach me.